In this video, I will show you how to install Arch Linux and completely remove Windows 11. Many of you have requested a video on how to replace Windows 11 with Linux, so here it is. Now as you can see, I'm using HP Pavilion gaming laptop that's currently running the latest Windows 11 operating system. In just a few minutes, we are going to erase Windows 11 and install Arch Linux in its place. Before you delete Windows 11, it's recommended to back up your files to an external drive or storage. Deleting Windows 11 will remove everything, so make sure to save your data before moving forward. Now, once your data is backed up, it's also recommended to create a bootable USB for Windows 11 using a tool like Rufus. This will help you reinstall Windows 11 later if you ever want to switch back. I have already made a Windows 11 bootable USB for that purpose. Now with that said, it's time to get started with the Arch Linux installation process. Now first, head over to the Arch website and click on the download button from the top right corner. Then choose the closest meter to your location and download the latest ISO file. Then download Rufus to burn the ISO to the USB drive. You can also use Spelina Etcher or Fentoy drive. Then connect a USB stick with a minimum capacity of 8 GB to your computer. I'm using another USB pen drive for Arch. Now double click to open Rufus. Select the USB device and import the Arch Linux ISO file. I'm going to choose the partition scheme as GPT as this laptop uses UEFI BIOS mode with the GPT partition scheme. Now follow the prompts and accept to start creating a bootable USB with Arch. Now this will take some time depending on the writing speed of your USB device. Now once it's done, it's time to boot the system into BIOS. You can turn off the PC and boot into BIOS settings using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. If you don't know how to boot into BIOS, I'm gonna show you how to do it from Windows. Just click on the Windows Start menu, hold the Shift key and click on Restart. Then your computer will enter into Windows Options menu. Now click on Troubleshooting and Advanced Options. And select UEFI Firmware Settings. Then click on Restart to boot into BIOS. In my case, my computer has booted into the Startup menu. And I'm going to press F10 to access the BIOS setup. In the UEFI BIOS, enable USB boot and change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary. Then disable secure boot, which is very important. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Arch from the USB drive. If it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Arch install media. Now on your monitor, you will see a terminal expecting for input. Now please note that the mouse functionality is disabled. You need to rely on the keyboard. Now type this command to increase the font size of the console. Then press enter to execute this command. Before installing Arch Linux, if your computer is connected to the internet via Ethernet, use the ping command to check the connection. If you are using built-in Wi-Fi support, use the IWCTL to connect to the internet. Now simply type IWCTL in the terminal to enter shell mode. Then type device list to view available network interfaces. 
Now look for W LAN 0 and ensure it's turned on. If it's off, enable it by typing this command. Then type this command to see the list of Wi Fi networks. Next, run the command station space W LAN 0 space connect and enter the name of your Wi Fi network. Then press the return key and input the Wi Fi password. After entering the password, wait for 5 seconds and press enter to connect to the internet. You might not see any output. If the connection was successful, then exit the IWD shell mode. And that's it, you have successfully connected to the internet. Now run the ping command to ensure you are receiving the packets. It's time to format the drive and prepare it for the Arch installation. Type lsblk to view a list of all connected devices. In my case, forward slash dev forward slash nvme0n1 is the drive where Windows 11 is installed. You can also use the ftisk command to see more information about the drives. Now we need to format the Windows drive and install Linux. Now once you have confirmed the correct drive, run the command gdisk forward slash dev forward slash nvme0n1 to launch the gdisk. Now replace this part with the appropriate one. In the gdisk tool, press X to enter the expert mode. And then press Z to erase the drive. Now follow the prompts to complete the drive erasing process. Now at this point, the drive NVMe0N1 should be a brand new and free of any partitions. Now type this command to synchronize the package databases. Then install Arch Linux Keyring and Arch install packages by executing these commands one after the other. Now run the arch installer script by typing arch install and press enter. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and enter key for selection. Then set the system language by selecting your option. Then choose your local. In my case, I'm gonna leave the first three options at their default values. Then choose disk configuration, choose partitioning, and use the best effort partition layout. Then select the drive where you want to install Arch Linux. In my case, NVMe 0N1. Now select the drive by pressing either the spacebar or the tab key. You will see an asterisk between the square brackets to indicate that the drive has been selected. Now choose the BTRFS file system, choose sub volumes and use compression. Then select back to return to the main menu. Now make sure swap is enabled. Next, select the bootloader. You have four options to choose from. Use either systemd or the grub bootloader. I'm gonna choose systemd. Then set the hostname as Arch Linux. Then set the password for the root user. Then create a brand new user account and add this new user to the sudoers list for elevated privileges. Now scroll down and choose to confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. Select profile, type and choose desktop. The Arch install offers plethora of options. But for this demonstration, I will choose KDE Plasma Desktop. Next, select the graphic drivers that you want to install. If you have Intel iGPU, choose Intel Open Source. 
and choose AMD if you have AMD GPU. If you're not sure what GPU drivers to install, choose all open source. If you have the latest NVIDIA RTX graphics card, choose proprietary drivers. Otherwise, use the default Navo driver. Then for the greeter, leave it to STDM. Then select the audio option and choose the audio server. For best results on most computers, it's recommended to use Pipewire. If you wish, you can also install additional kernels. But for now, I will stick with the default kernel. After that, select the network configuration and choose to use the network manager. You can install additional packages using this option. Now simply press forward slash followed by the package name and press the tab key to select it. You can search for any package with forward slash and install it. Then select your time zone to set the time on your system. Now go ahead and check all the options and haven't left anything blank. Once you have confirmed all the options, select the install button and wait for a few minutes for Arch script to perform its magic. Now once it's done, you will see the prompt to perform post-installation steps. Select yes to enter the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch Linux installation. It's time to install some GUI applications like Firefox, VLC, LibreOffice and most essential packages and Flatpak to fix the Discover backend on Plasma desktop environment. Now exit the chroot environment Then type this command to unmount all the partitions. Once it's done, shut down the system by typing this command and eject the USB pen drive. And that's it, we have successfully installed Arch Linux by removing Windows 11. Now turn on your computer and you can see systemd boot menu and will boot your system into Arch Linux. Now from the login screen, you can choose your session from the top left. You will see options like Valent or X11. Now for this video, I'm choosing Valent because it works better on modern laptops with dedicated GPUs. Enter the login password and press enter. And voila, now you are inside the Plasma desktop environment. This is how you can remove Windows 11 and replace with Arch Linux. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.